The internet is one of the greatest achievements of mankind. A worldwide computer network accessible by almost anyone, almost anywhere. The entire wealth of human knowledge is not only at your fingertips, it is indexed so that you can find whatever you're looking for with only a few keystrokes. It doesn't matter if you're looking for a lecture on animal behavior, trying to figure out the name of that piano concerto that's stuck in your head, or you just like cat videos. It's all there, and it's all at your fingertips. But it wasn't always this way. So I've been wanting to do a countdown series on YouTube for a while now that is basically the greatest scientific advancements. We can even give it a fancy title like The Five, the five greatest, greatest Advancements, advancements of, modern of Modern Science. science. Now there has to be rules. Number one, it has to be something modern, no wheel or alphabet. Number two, we will rank them by the number of lives they impact. And number three, it has to be a specific advancement instead of a vague thing that could encompass a lot of different advancements like water filtration or fertilization. So with that in mind, here is number five, which is not the internet. Now let's go back in time. Now I'm not going to go all the way back in time when I was 13 years old before there were websites. You know, when you used to actually pick up the phone, put it on the modem, dial into a BBS system. You'd connect to somebody and start typing, hey dude, what's going on? And he'd be like, hey man, I have a naked picture of boobs. Do you want to see it? Heck yeah, I do. And then you'd establish connection and you'd start to download the picture. 35 minutes later, it'd be like, ooh, ooh. Here it comes, here it comes, and then, and then suddenly... Oh, what the f David, are you on the phone again? Mom, I'm trying to download something! No, I'm just talking about the internet as it was in 1997. You used to sit down at your computer, then you would log on to the internet hearing this beautiful music. Oh, I can't believe we used to put up with that. Anyway, so now, you're in a sea of islands, on a boat with no map. You don't know where to go to find the information you're looking for. There were several websites that popped up that tried to be internet search engines, but none of them really worked. Nine times out of ten you would search for a couple of hours and you would never find what you were looking for. When search engines first began, many companies would employ people who would then sit down at terminals and manually index website content. This was adequate until the dot-com boom and we saw an explosive growth of websites. Then along came Scooter. Scooter was a crawler designed by the search engine Alta Vista. Remember those guys? Scooter automated the process of indexing web content from web pages, quickly making Alta Vista the most successful search engine of the time. Alta Vista was the most popular because they had the most content. And if you took the time to look long enough and hard enough, chances are you would find what you were looking for eventually. Which now gets us to the fifth greatest advancement of modern science. Google! You surprised? You shouldn't be. Google makes the internet what it is today. The internet itself is just a collection of information mediums. Google makes it all useful. Google has indexed over 25 billion websites. Google receives 34,000 searches a second worldwide. That's 88 billion searches a month. It has indexed over 1.3 billion images and over 1.5 billion Usenet messages. And it is growing. It reads your email. It knows what you had for dinner, where you and your friends like to hang out, from stocks to movie times to current weather, even sports scores. Google can track your packages of snozberries on Google Maps that you found through Google Google search and then purchase with Google Wallet. Still not convinced? You use another search engine, you say? Yahoo pays for Google results. Software engineers at Google claim proof that Bing is stealing search results from Google. But don't worry, Google isn't going to use all this power for evil, right? That brings me to number four. A power so great it's as if the gods themselves bestowed it upon us mere mortals. I wasn't even out. Oh! 